Mr. Telephone Then something wrong with my mind When I dial my baby's number I get a quick every time Hey Blessings guys Hey guys, it's Crystal Dior coming your way You know the soul sister, the black vegan holistic goddess So I just wanted to come through and say blessings And hope you guys are having a lovely day So I am currently at work around all this beautiful, beautiful green land mm, Getting those vibrations in Yes, honey, yes I'm so happy about this. <laughs> hey, so I actually wanted to touch bases on my sacred woman's journey. So this is actually day eight of the journey. I've been going really strong. I've been actually waking up between the four and five o'clock hour. I had to get better waking up at four, but I make sure I do all the altar work that I need to do within that time frame. I would say 4.30 would really be the time I wake up. But in the book, it says to wake up between the hours of 4 and 6. So I am still doing um, the time thing in a timely manner, in my opinion. But anyway, um, if you never heard of The Sacred Woman Journey, it's a book by Queen Afua. I definitely already did a video on it. So you could just check out my other videos to see how the book look. I don't currently have it on me. But it's a book by Queen Afua. And that is an awesome book to read and to basically allow you to know yourself as a woman. So I would say... What was challenging for me was waking up at 4 a.m. Like I stated, I was waking up around 4.30. Um, and I work a lot. I sometimes do overtime, so I might do 16-hour days. And me having to wake up that early, sometimes it can be a little um, burden. But it was well worth it. Um, I've learned so much in the eight days. I actually had a book. I actually had the book since May. So I read the first Gateway chapter. Um, gateway zero i read it before i started so i could make sure i had everything i needed for it there is some things that i still don't have on the altar but i did want to start the journey so they will come in the timely matter but like i stated um if you never heard of the book i highly recommend it and i highly recommend you look into the book as a woman we need to get to know ourselves and we need to cleanse ourselves we need to be more in tune with ourselves and listen to our bodies it's so easy for us to get caught up in the world it's so easy for us to get caught up in a man it's so easy for us to get caught up in our child it's so easy for us to get caught up that we never take the time out for us and it's important to make sure you are healed. It's important to make sure that you, as a woman, are healed. Because at the end of the day, they're all going to come to you. So, um, that was a challenging part. Another challenging part for me was the baths. I do I, I try to do the best in the morning the thing is because I have to be at work by 7 30 I only have but so much time I could take so I think out of the four I think out of the time that I have been doing it I would say I probably did four baths in the morning but I do take them at night if I can't do them in the morning but I would say the baths are very very spiritual and very cleansing especially in the morning it sets your day like i could definitely tell the difference of when i took the baths in the morning versus at night um irregardless you still feel refreshing you still feel healed but in the morning it's just something about it it might be the time but um it's something about taking a bath in the morning that i really like um so i'm going to really try for the rest of these uh, 13 days i'm gonna really try to take my baths in the morning and um i'm going to try to wake up at 4 a.m so i can make sure i have the four to six o'clock slot together um i would say the thing i need to work on as far as the woman's journey is i need to work on actually doing my clay my clay packs and my castor oil packs more um I do do the clay packs, but I don't do them as often as the book recommends, and I have yet to do a castor oil pack, so I'm going to opt to do that today. Um, 
I'm going to try. <laughs> it's kind of hot and it says you need a heating pad. So I'm going to try to do the castor oil pack. Um, but I know another challenging aspect for others might be the eating. The eating aspect. It wants you to be um, almost a raw vegan. Um, it do give you a little bit of options to eat grains, I believe. But I'm already a raw vegan. So the food part didn't really matter in my opinion like it didn't really i'm alkaline and i'm raw so i only eat certain things anyway so the food didn't phase me whereas though it can phase others so that's a commitment that you will need to make if you're not raw if you're a vegetarian or if you're a meat eater that's something that might be really challenging for you but i'm telling you it's well worth doing even for a short term because you will find out so much about yourself and your womb that you never ever would have thought we don't even know who our womb is we don't know what our womb is we just think it's our uterus and it's inside of us your womb matters and trust me it talks to you and it talks back and when you take care of her amazing things will happen that's all I gotta say but I'm just happy to still be on this journey and I'm so happy to still be going strong I definitely will keep you guys updated my next post might be after the 21 days um, just to let you know how the full gateway zero turned out for me how I feel afterwards um, after taking this complete journey and then what my next steps will be as far as gateway one so ladies stay tuned stay tuned heal yourself heal yourself because you are important you matter without you there's no them there's no us remember that till then see you soon it's your girl crystal Lior. peace out